we're working on this Whirlpool refrigerator. This is just a stock picture, but today we're going to be doing some repair. Welcome to DIY Repair Now. Remember, be safe and always disconnect the appliances to avoid electric shock. The model number is on the display. So we're going to go ahead and start by taking apart the freezer side. We're going to remove this rack. Sometimes it has some rubber um, secure knobs on it and you remove that. So now we're gonna remove this uh, panel, this little cover to get to the one quarter screws. And as you see right there, it has a lot of eyes. So it looks like all the water from the freezer that it should be going to the drain line is getting into the freezer compartment. So we're gonna remove the Phillips screws from the a, um, ice maker harness. And now this is a one quarter screw that is holding this front panel of uh, evaporator fan cover. I mean, and sometimes it's ice around this. So if you have a hair dryer, um, go ahead and defrost the ice build up around it and remove, go ahead and release those tabs to release the cover. At this point, I still got it plugged in, but remember, I do this every day, so for you, it's best to disconnect the refrigerator to avoid electric shock. Be prepared for water to spill out because you are defrosting ice, so it should be getting water into the refrigerator compartment. So just put like a little bucket or a piece of rag to grab the water. Once you defrost around this styrofoam panel, um, you're gonna be able to access to the back panel without inconvenience. I'm using a steamer to defrost everything, but you can use a hair dryer or even better, just disconnect the refrigerator and let it throw out, remove those Philly screws and release the harness for the ice maker and remove this uh, back panel. Once you remove the back panel, it should be a hole around here where it's supposed to be draining. It's a heat element here. This heat element is turned on by this defrost thermostat. Remember to take a picture if you remove any wiring to remember where everything was. So on the heat element, and the heat element look like it's still good, but it's a block of ice where you see me pointing with the screwdriver. That block of ice should be water going to the drain line, but it's not going to the drain line. So we're gonna go ahead and defrost all the buildup ice to find out what is going on with the drain hose um, or with the drain line that, go, that is going all the way to the compressor on the bottom to a drain pan. As you see, I defrost everything with my steamer. That is the drain hose. And what I did is with the steamer, I defrost everything, remove all the water, but it looks like the drain line is still clogged. So I'm gonna keep putting my steamer there and keep putting hot water until I can hear the water going all the way to the bottom of the refrigerator to a drain pan. This water should be going to a drain pan on the back of the refrigerator by the compressor and this water should be absorbed by the heat of the condenser and the compressor on the back on the back bottom of the refrigerator as you see i kind of make an invention there use um, a little extension to put hot water or steam inside the drain line and now the water is going down i can even hear it Again, be prepared for water to spill out. And you see the water is going down like it's supposed to. So the reason why all this ice was in the refrigerator is because that drain hose was clogged. So the water was overfilling into the refrigerator compartment. And also sometimes it will leak on the, uh, I mean, it was leaking on the freezer compartment and sometimes it will leak on the refrigerator compartment. Now, the customer asked me to replace this thermostat. It's just old and it was giving signs that it should go out. But again, at this point, the heat element was 
um, giving a good reading, but he just wants to replace it because he saw some videos then that he was just concerning. Be careful with some sharp edges and go ahead and turn off the refrigerator again to avoid electric shock. And if you want to see how to test the um, defrost thermostat, I have another video and you can find a link in the description of the video or just go to the card right where you see that arrow. If you want to check that defrost thermostat, but again, the thermostat on the refrigerator was still good. The customer just want me to replace it because it was just an old defrost thermostat and he just want to be on the safe side. Um, again, all the build up ice was just because the drain line was clogged. Now you see how I'm replacing this thermostat. You're going to find a link on the description of this video. If you want to replace this thermostat or if you took it apart and that thermostat didn't check. Okay. We put some wire nuts and we put some silicone on the wire nuts because we don't want any humidity condensation or water going inside those connections you can just put any um silicon to avoid again any water going into the connections defrost every ice that is, is still underneath the evaporator coils and remove all the ice that was accumulating on the freezer compartment again now they sell a special part for this but if you want to do something homemade go ahead and put this clip i'm putting this clip on the heat element towards the drain hose to help the drain hose to be defrost all the time you can make that out of piece of metal or a piece of copper wire to do it from home if you don't have any any steamer you can use a turkey base to unclog the drain line as well as you saw in that footage and there is the clip that's gonna help the drain hole to be unclogged all the time remember to defrost any build up ice that is underneath the evaporator or underneath that piece of metal that way the drain line doesn't get clogged anytime soon which with all this procedure it shouldn't be any clock ever once you do that go ahead and put the back panel back on and put all the wiring the way you found it the ground wire where it goes fit the harness for the ice maker well this refrigerator doesn't have an ice maker but it brings the harness in case you want to install one maybe yours has an ice maker and you will have to remove the ice maker which is pretty easy it's hold by two or three screws but this a refrigerator in a specific didn't have one so just follow the video alone and it will help you to unclog that drain line remember if the um, evaporator coils are not frost over that means the defrost thermostat is still good but again, the customer want us to replace that thermostat just to be on the safe side. Now, if you only got ice on the bottom of the coils, like you saw in this video, just defrost the, um, the ice buildup and unclog the drain line and that should take care of everything. Then you put the styrofoam and also the um, fan motor Evapor the uh, evaporator fan motor cover put the taps where they go and install the one quarter screw where it should be at this point we're pretty much done just go ahead and turn it on the way it's supposed to where it should be recommendation setting thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe